it hopefully pays off. Taysom, how conscientious are you for guys like Kyle Van Oy, who are 0-3 against Utah in their careers and, and trying to help them go out with a run? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, not only do I obviously want it for myself, um, but it's, I, I want it for our team, our seniors. Um, I've had several conversations with Kyle about how bad he wants this game. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do everything that I possibly can uh, to win it for those guys, Coach Manahal, the guys around us. Um, so that's, that's a huge motivating factor for me. How do you manage emotions in, in a game like this? I mean, you, you naturally want to be excited for big mm -hmm. games, but how do you keep them in kind of in perspective? Um, I think it, it just comes down for me. We're, we're playing another football game. And obviously, this one this one comes with a little more pressure, a little more um, anxiety, I guess, if you will. But uh, uh, it, it's another football game. We need to prepare just like we we did against Texas, if not prepare harder and better. So it's another game, and I think also going into a rivalry game, it's the team who settles down first and makes the least amount of mistakes, and that's our emphasis. Growing up in Pokey, did you have a good grasp on the rivalry, or is everything still kind of new to you? Uh, no, I was definitely aware of, of the rivalry. Um, you know, I'm three hours from Provo, a couple hours from Salt Lake, so I was very aware of it. Um, I, I didn't follow it too closely, but you know, I'm, I'm aware of the big finishes and, and how close some of those games have been. So I, I've been around it. Obviously, I've only been in it for a couple of years, and um, it's a big game. I'm aware of that. If you uh, kind of compare big games, I mean, you're still a young guy, mm -hmm. uh, pretty early in your career. What are, how do you manage big games versus just kind of a regular game? Because there's certainly yeah. bigger games. Yeah, than that, right? no, um, I think it, as far as it, it comes down to me, it comes down to managing the football game. You know, I need to make sure that I'm sharp. I need to make sure that I'm not uh, having any turnovers, um, that I minimize my mistakes. And, you know, our defense has been really good. And if we have to, we'll, we'll play uh, field position with them. And, um, you know, I'm confident that if, if we don't make mistakes, if we don't make the turnovers that we have in the past, that we're going to like the, the outcome. Is there, has there been talk about that? The turnover margin has been a big deciding factor in a lot of the games in the past. Has there been an emphasis on protecting the ball this week? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, last week, you know, Coach Manhall presented to us the, the difference between turnover margin and everything else, and so we're definitely aware of it. But it's nothing new. You know, Coach and I, from the minute he got here, was, was all about ball security. We can't turn the ball over. And uh, that shot us in the foot against Virginia. And, you know, we had a couple against Texas. Luckily, you know, that didn't hurt us too bad. But we can't turn the ball over. And uh, that's, that's our focus. That's what we've been working on. Days from 550 yards against Texas. How has the offense improved, and what have you learned from the Texas game that you can that you can take with you as you go into the Utah game? Yeah, I think uh, a few different things. I think the mindset up front. I think our line came out. They had a great week of practice leading up to Texas, and they came out with a different mindset that every play that they were going to fire off the ball, they were going to win, and they were getting to the second level because of that, and and created huge running lanes for me and Jamal, and so I think mindset was was big, and then we just. We just played harder than them. And you know, looking at that Utah, we know that Utah's gonna play really hard. It's a big game, it's a rivalry game, and we're gonna have to match and uh, play harder than them. In the chess match of football, do you think that uh, with the big target on your back, having run for almost 200 yards, you gotta think that you know, Utah's probably gonna stack the box a little bit. I mean, I mean, in terms of practicing and preparing against that defense, have other facets of the offense, have you seen, have there's been an emphasis on those things? Yeah, for sure. Um, and I, I mentioned earlier, you know, when you stack the box, when you bring your safeties down, you play cover one and man to man outside. Uh, we saw against Texas, if you make one guy miss, it turns into a big play. And, you know, our, our guys are pretty good up front. They've been playing really well. And, you know, tack or Utah is going to have to, to tackle well. If, if they don't, then we're going to have some big plays. Um, if, if our run game doesn't work, then, you know, I like my one-on-ones with guys like Cody and Mitch and Skyler on the outside. So um, we'll, we'll continue to get better in the passing game and be more efficient. And I'm, I'm confident that if it comes down to that, we can be successful.